National Defence Force General Soli Shoke has uh, issued a very stern warning serving members of uh, or serving members to steer clear of involvement in African National Congress matters and bringing the name of the military into politics. Shoke's remarks came after uh, that uh, SANDF spoke against a planned meeting where senior members of a military have been invited to discuss undisclosed issues affecting the ANC. We're joined now by Lieutenant General Mamela Mutao who is a retired SANDF general and the chair of that organizing committee of the Cairo Summit. Thank you so much for joining us, General. Thank you. Let's speak about this meeting, this invitation. Why did you call it? To whom were you inviting? Thank you very much, uh, Sepiso, and uh, good evening also to our uh, viewers. I think our our invitation to the summit was very, very clear. And the summit was very clear what is intended for. And if I may repeat it, it's written there very clear. This summit is an ANC CADA summit, and it is strictly, strictly for ANC cadres, not from ANC members, strictly. And therefore, it was coming to discuss the situation which prevails in the East, which I think all, as, all of us, as cadres of the movement, we have the right to discuss that type of situation. Mm. You have a right to do so, but it's been a fair question to ask, why not use already existing structures to do that? The, the party uh, allows for that, a branch regional level, at provincial level, at the NEC. Why not to use those structures? So I, I, I think those of us who have been in the ANC for a while, and those particularly those who call themselves cadres, understand it is not for the first time, and I believe it's not going to be the last time, when cadres of the African National Congress realizes that see, there are serious challenges facing the movement, cadres of the African National Congress come together to find solutions and find a way of con conveying their findings, decisions to the African National Congress itself. General, that doesn't answer my question. The question was, why not use already existing structures of the party to address this? You're very clear that this was an invitation to NC Carter's. Why not use the very party's structures that you're saying you're going to discuss the concerns thereof? So I think it is, it, it, it is uh, incumbent on the cadres of the African National Congress to decide what route to take to address the situation which they perceive or see in the movement. The structures of the ANC are there. The structures of the ANC have got a way of operating. The structures of the ANC respond to the ANC from its headquarters. This which we are doing, it is not a mandated. It's not mandated by the ANC headquarters. So it cannot be said that we should have followed the structures of the afternoon. So you talk about we. You say um, we are entitled to uh, determine which structures uh, to use to discuss these matters. Who's the we? How has this uh, grouping come together? Who has called it together? And when you say we, talk about ANC cutters that they are dissatisfied with certain things, the state of the party. What exactly and what is it that prohibits them from raising the issues within the party? structures? Nothing prohibits anybody from raising that uh, in the structures, but nothing also prohibits members of the African National Congress or its cadres to come together informally or in any other way to discuss issues. This has always been the case in the African National Congress. And are you talking about current and or former SANDF members? Which me members we, we are talking about? 
I'm asking a question. The people that you had invited, the people that you quoted saying I have every right to have an informal meeting, they are not mandated by the uh, SANDF or the party, but I want to understand who are these people? Are they current? Are they former uh, serving SANDF members? And while one understands that you say they have a right, what is it that is so pressing? Is and what is bringing them together? Yes, thank you, Tepiso. The invitation is very clearly directed to traders of the African National Congress, not to any structure, not of the party, not of government. That is not the purpose of the invitation. It's very clear. So those who believe that they are traders and they receive the, the invitation, they can elect to participate or not participate. There is no compulsion whatsoever. If they are members, for, former or serving members of the African uh, who are in the SANDF, who believe that they are cadres and they want to come, I think it is in their right to do so. And, and having said that, I do ask the fact that you are someone who occupied a very uh, important and strategic senior position in the military, that of intelligence. In your view then, how should the military and current personnel discuss the state of political parties that they find themselves in? And I ask this against the backdrop that you have continuously uh, implied that there are a group of people who are dissatisfied. And I ask, how does this grouping come together? Why are they not using the structures that are available? You say they're not mandated by anyone, they have a right to continue, but we just need a sense. I would imagine that part of the uncertainty is what is making people raise concerns about whether or not could this be an effort to unseat a civilian um, government? Is there any nefarious intent? I think, uh, to be the first and foremost, uh, there is no disgruntled person amongst us. We are not disgruntled at all. Two, there is nobody who should be talking about any uh, unseating of a civilian government. Because there, there is no plan of unseating a government which is hatched in a public meeting. I do not understand when people that talking about unseating of a government. Where did that thing come from? Is that an intelligence information? From where does that intelligence come from? Because as far as we are concerned, we have no intention of asking the soldiers to make coup because we can't make coup. Okay, not so, so when you say we, again, I'll ask this as a final question. How many of you yes. are there? How did you come together and are you serving members of the SANDF or former members or both? We are cadres of the African National Congress. And cadres of the African National Congress always meet in, in different uh, environments and discuss issues relating to their movement. Because in the African National Congress, cadres of the African National Congress, their first duty is to ensure that the movement is going on in a healthy way. It is working towards achieving the, the strategic objectives which for which the ANC was set for. We discuss this every time, like anybody. And we, I'm, I'm talking about the organizers, the organizers of, of this uh, uh, summit. So the organizers of the summit, the group which met initially informally and decided to uh, to come to call uh, cadres together to address issues which they think are very critical in ensuring that the African National Congress remain a liberation movement which it's supposed to be and is able to discharge its historic mission. Mm. And what are those issues? Just give us... Uh, um uh, highlights of some of the issues that you did repeatedly say concerns you? Yes, thank you very much. I, I think uh, I, I, I'm not going to take the liberty to discuss what is going to be discussed in the, in the summit. Because the summit is going to consider inputs from different people. So I'm not in the liberty 
I don't have the liberty to be discussing the content. I thought we we're going to answer questions relating to what people are starting to talk about, like uh, there is a problem in the defense force which has been created by ourselves. Okay, thank you, General. But unf unfortunately, and, and with fairness, you have refused to answer all of those questions that I did pose to you. But thank you so much for speaking to us, Lieutenant thank General Maumela Mudau, who is a retired SANDF General and Chair of the Organizing Committee of that Carter Summit that he says uh, um, is a group of people who feel that there are very concerning issues around the state of the ANC.